Greetings, my friends, and welcome back to TNO, the last days of Europe. I'm your host, Mr. McClover. And this is now where we left off last time. No, I've decided to instead. We activated Operation Condor last time. Or Global Plan Condor. And I decided, you know what? No, we're not going to do a plan until the Germans have war. So I've gone back in time, basically before we clicked on it and started doing their focuses. We'll go back and do it later on, but... I studied up a lot more on Oldenstadt Burgund and to make sure that we will do relatively okay. So as you can tell, there's a lot of uh, loyalty in our country currently just because every single first of the month I will stop the game and have to make sure that we have a ratio of 1 to 2, 2 to 1 guards to <clears throat> very voluntary workers in Oldenstadt Burgund. But regardless, basically we're back to where we were at before. Um, I think right now what we will do instead, though, I would like to drill the Waffen, but admit no loyalty. Only a slave would be content in a system where strong servants obey weak masters, and the Aryan race has thrown off their slave mentality. We should not take orders from that doddering fool in Germania, nor shall we acknowledge the legitimacy of the simpering cronies vying for his throne. The Reich's daddy, SS dude, shall be our guiding light, and we shall scorn those who prefer to huddle beneath the shadows of lesser men. So... Oh, there goes the train for it again. So we've already seen it. Just a slight bit of this stuff already from the first episode. But I want to make sure that we do uh, Burgundy as best, as well as possible. So this campaign is probably going to be the most intense campaign I've played. Or one of the most intense campaigns in TNO. Just because I'm going to take this a little bit more slowly than normal. And, and make sure we do okay. So like I said, at the beginning of every month, we've got to make sure we have a ratio of 2 to 1 for the Susha Heights put its eye. And skilled laborers, as the mod says they are. Totally skilled labor. So I do roughly two to one. So that looks good enough. Over here, is this two to one? Uh, I can't really tell. Uh, and we're gonna do a Flanders next. Ooh, that's a little bit not good enough. We will never have enough police officers compared to these uh, <clears throat> skilled laborers. Totally skilled laborers. Going boost is up up to fourteen hundred, so it makes me feel better. Uh, let's see. Well, that's twenty seven hundred. That's not enough. So fourteen hundred. That looks pretty good. Uh, in this part of close to Paris region, that's good enough. 1440 versus that much. At the times two, that's barely enough for that state. For this one, we have more than enough for now. Actually, we can throw in a few more uh, labors in there. There you go. 2900, 2900. Because actually, if you didn't know, we have a cap on the amount of skilled labors we can have in reserve. You can only have up to 4,000 in reserve. Because apparently, we just can't build more camps here in Burgundy. I don't understand that. But I guess it's kind of a make sure that we don't, you know, game the, the mod too much. But for this one, we can transfer a few more guys in. Oh, we can't transfer. That sucks. And down here, uh, ooh. 1600, that's good enough. Okay, cool. So, yeah, you have to do that. You really do. Because you have to have loyalty as much as possible. Because, uh, we read this yesterday. If you want to read about this, please go right ahead. Loyalty is extremely scarce, we'll say. And we're going to need as much loyalty as possible. So, right now, we've not done a plan. I want We have 25 supplies. It costs us about 30 supplies every month. And every time we have stability and war support lower than 50%, like right now, it'll require extra supplies every month. Which really, it just got awful. I'm not really sure how we can get more stability or political power, even after boosting a military or uh, civilian spending, so it really sucks. But unpleasant findings. Um, if you would like to read about this, please go ahead. We read this one yesterday about unpleasant findings, so we're not going to do it. But a simple examination. This is a new exa examination on National Socialism that all incoming officers are required to take. You have 30 minutes. Pencils only. No talking, no leaving the room until the exam is complete. You may begin. The SS officer candidates all sat down and flipped open the booklets, hastily filling in circles or scribbling down answers. The questions ranged from mundane party history, <laughs> like such as, when was Adolf Hitler approved or appointed? Chancellor of the Reich, to bizarrely personal, have you ever had sexual fantasies involving a family member? But they still answered just as diligently as ever. When the half hour had passed, the instructor stood up, collected the test, and stepped out of the room. The candidates mostly just sat and stared at each other silently, nonplussed, and mildly confused about the test's purpose. The next morning, three of their fellow candidates had disappeared from the beds in the barracks. Their names had been stricken from the roll call, the roll call, and the personal effects had been all removed from their lockers. Nobody felt the desire to ask what happened to them, because deep down they already knew. Whether it was because of something they said on the test, or the SD having eyes on them for some time didn't matter. There's no point dwelling on the fate of dead men. Describe what comes to mind when you hear the word Vaterland. We must draw the Waffen, though. The good Aryan always keeps in mind, his mind, and body at peak condition, never letting himself fall into the morass of com complacency. The Waffen SS, which contains the strongest and most devoted Aryan soldiers of the Reich has to offer, is no exception. Training must be frequent and rigorous to make sure that every soldier carries out his instructions exactly, exactly, I was older during the heat of the battle. The time to test their metal will soon be, and we will not send forth an army of second-rate simpletons. Good. 
Uh, and I think for this campaign, I might get a little bit too into it, but that's what makes it fun, right? That's just what makes it fun. Actually, we don't have enough equipment, do we? Oh, that's just because, um, yeah, I already clicked on all these to make sure we have enough supplies for as much as possible. So we'll probably have to cut down on that a little bit. But the problem with the gold plants is that you can't keep them active for too long or it'll just drain you and kill you um, and cause Burgundy to explode. Or something like that will happen. I'm not really sure. So that's why I want to wait until the German Civil War. We need to build more supplies. Make sure we have enough guns and stuff like that. So, yeah. We'll see what happens. Oh, and we can invest financially and industrially. Workers. This is where we send up workers. So right now we have 3,500. Ah, good. I love the workers. Oh, Rodomo. I, I wonder if we can build something there that will help us uh, <clears throat> maintain worker uh, loyalty. We'll put it like that. Uh, a little bit of auto saving. Thank you very much for August. And we once again shall do this. Flandon. Uh, that is good enough. Let's see. Picardin. Picardin. Not bad. These guys over here. Uh, I don't want to do math in my head too much. So there you go. Uh, Grossram Paris is always my boy. No. Over here. Just a bit too much. Transfer 50 out. Uh, Valonin. Uh, do we see that one already? Just in case. Go and lower the laborers just by 100 or so. That's good enough. Um, let's see. That's too many laborers here. That is good enough now. Mio, that's good enough. Over here, that is too many. That is good enough now. And over here, very good. That's just barely enough. Um, yeah, that's good. So this is all good, and then this one is good, and then this one is almost good. Good enough. Roughly that amount. So we still have 3,200 skilled laborers in reserve, and not bad. After we drill the Waffen, call upon the Butcher. Reinhard Daddy Papa Heydrich is a loyal and capable servant of the Reichsführer SS. So skilled that he was personally entrusted with managing the Deutsch SS after the Oldenschutz establishment. His record is not spotless, though. He was unable to capture Hitler during the Reichsführer SS's coup, a failure some speculate was intentional. However, it did provide a silver lining to get him and get him in the Führer's good graces, with Hitler's always eager to listen and the entire Deutsch SS at his back. Heydrich has become one of the most formidable candidates for the Führership, and uh, the Reichs Führer SS vision would be so much easier to achieve were he to succeed. Very good. Uh, we, don't have, we don't have time for anti-air stuff. That's a waste of time. Uh, get some of that stuff, because we will be going to war with uh, the Parisians eventually. The rest of the Parisians. Uh, looking pretty good. We could do this stuff. Uh, I don't really feel like it. Hopefully that removes a lot of workers, but... Oh, so okay, now we have the, we can do these plans again. I'm not, I'm, I'm not doing them. And the first plan, as some of you guys did say in the comments below from the last video, was for us to activate Global Plan Bar, or Bear first. So we'll probably do, actually do that one. I just want to save some of my political power because we're going to need to save some political power for this. Ooh, but, ooh, we lose a thousand workers and a hundred political power to get five supplies, or we get three hundred more million dollars in debt and five supplies. Get rid of my slaves. Uh, skilled workers, skilled workers. I swear, I swear they're skilled workers. They are skilled workers. They can work with their hands. Some people can't even work with their hands, apparently. But ultimate salvation? Nah, no, let's do a means to an end. The Olden Short has one purpose, and one purpose alone. We are the body that enforces the Reichsfeer SS's will. Nothing more, nothing less. Our purpose is to not construct a nation state, nor is it to alienize the natives. The Reichsfeer SS's vision is one far grander than establishing a single enclave of racial purity atop a Gaelic cesspit. And after all, the local vermin may have a role in its fulfillment. And now that we're below that amount, oh, 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 nope, 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 nope. We gotta look at, it. we gotta look at it. We're only at forty-nine percent, which really sucks. All right, not bad. All right, so still mostly loyal. Transfer them out. Transfer them out. Uh, boost it up by a little bit more. Uh, that's good enough, right? Oh, just in case. I don't want it. Some of this math is a bit too much for me to do in my head at one time. Because I did not major in mathematics. Uh, anything up here, 22, that's good. Anything up here, do it just in case. With 3,000 in there, do that just in case. 2,800, that's good. Uh, that's too many. That is still a bit too many. Over here, good, good. And uh, that is just barely enough for that. 1,400, that's good. So these two are good. And then this one over here, 3,000, that's good. As well as this one. I'm going to keep as many police officers as possible under my control. Uh, that's 3240. That's good. A simple litter. Good. So, yeah, we have to, you have to be a demon about that stuff. Means to end, though. 
As a little hedgish, the Reichsfuhrer SS has high hopes for you. The turmoil in the Reich is reaching its crescendo, and it's very likely that, with the recent assassination attempt on our dear Führer's life, combined with the rumor of his declining health, he will likely choose an heir to continue to, the, to continue carrying the torch. So to speak, instead, you have done well in winning the Führer's trust and favor. We are pleased that you are held in such high standing. We have heard rumor that the Führer has mentioned you by name as a potential candidate, which is a fantastic thing for a cause. Continue to win his favor, and continue to foster the organization in Germany proper for the time to come. Hedrich, this is a great opportunity to redeem yourself in the eyes of the Reichsfuhr SS. Your underwhelming performance in the past will be overlooked if, your, if our plans in Germany succeed. If It is vital, of course, for both the Stadt and you that you succeed in your task. It should not need to be said what will occur if you let us down again. The Odin Stadt has no place for failure, Sadrish. But he can't help delay the inevitable. 35 supplies is not enough. Oh, wait, so you can cancel um, global plans. Eventually, so we can probably activate that actually right now if we really wanted to, but I don't want to do it yet. Nope, 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 nope. And this one, I don't want to get rid of these slaves because we don't have that little. Oh wait, look at this, drill troops. Oh, we can drill troops now. We lose command power. Cesspool affected. What is that? Oh, what? What? Wait, hold on. I don't remember seeing that. I can. We can use whips. Ooh. Oh. Let's get whippy. Nice. Oh, what about this stuff? What are we doing here? Basic motorized, that's fine. And, so what, what does this the whipping do? Dr I mean, oh, go, we're just drilling troops. Okay. Okay, darn. I thought it was for the skilled laborers. Darn it. I got excited for no reason then. Anyways. Um, uh... Of the Vanenkrieg. When Odin and the Esir waged war against the Vanir, the fighting did not result in one side's destruction, but instead in their mutual benefit. Their pantheons merged into one under the wise supervision of Odin, and a new era of peace was ushered in. The same is about to happen in the Reich. The Führer is on his deathbed. Chaos will soon reign, and only the firm might of he Reinhard Heydrich's Deutschen SS can restore order. And when they have brought peace and unity to the Vaterland, the Reich's Führer SS will be there to guide them. Yes. All according to plan. The Rex Fear SS's birthday. I think I already read this one last time, so if you want to read about that, please go right ahead. Next year in West Paris? Let's hope so. Increase arm sales. Well, we need some more of that. We can get more supplies. A means to an end. Finish up with the Vaughn Creek, and then we're going to make things go boom. Oh, it's October. Oh, crap. Did I not do this yet? Oh, crap. I got to pay, pay more attention to this. Um, do it just in case. Do that one. We have 2,000 extra soldiers. 2200, that's good enough, I think. Yeah, yeah. Numbers, numbers. What do they mean? 1700, 3400. Oh, just do that one just in case. Over here, you could probably use a few more over there, but whatever. 1400, that's too much. There you go. I'm trying to save all, as many policemen as possible. Uh, go and do that one. And we need about 1500. Just go 1500, that's fine. That's good enough. Kampfen. Uh, go up to 1500 too. Go to 1520. That's 1540. That's good. Uh, let's see. 1500 is good enough. Good. Good. There you go. That that's that should reach 3,000. 45 times 2 is 90. So 60, 90. That's good. And over here, we we can't put any more in reserve, which really sucks. We got to get rid of some of them now. We have a few more, few more police officers. So that's 1700. Pretty good. Pretty darn good. All right, let's get rid of some of these guys. Um, well, I don't want to spend my political power on this, but it looks like we're going to have to. Factory output, construction speed. Ooh, mm, I want to get rid of the slave. So we either do this one, more factory output, which would be pretty good because we need more stuff. But construction speed, we are trying to build up more civvies, and we're actually, we're actually relatively pretty okay with our civvies right now. So let's keep building that up. Um, nice. Ah, good. So it is October. I got to keep, I have to keep an eye on that. I bet the Vine Creek and Ultimate Salvation. As of now, four nations that leave us alone because we are technically part of the Reich. An attack on us would be an attack on the Pact. As Germany proper continues to rot, however, the Alden Shah becomes more and more exposed. So naturally, it is up to us to create our own deterrence. For years, we have been in secret creating the infrastructure and means to produce our own atomic arsenal. Our first nuclear weapon is nearing completion soon. All that will remain will be to test the warhead. A successful detonation will ensure our place in the world and keep the degenerates in Germany, the Jews in America, and the backstabbing samurai out of our affairs. No one will dare to intervene on the Odenstadt while we have nuclear deterrence. 
And it's that time of the month again. Mm, invest. That, uh, that's a lot. But well, we're going to need extra supplies anyway, so just do it anyways. Why not? Um, you know what? Get rid of the workforce. Now we have no political power, which really sucks. All right, back over here. Let's see what do we got. Uh, that's 40, 4,400. This one looks like a big number. I don't want to think about big numbers right now. Let's see. That is not great. 1,800 is good. You guys, that's still good. Over here, that's a little bit not good. Not good, not good. There you go. Over here. Good. 21 times 2 is usually 42, so that's good. We used to have too many labor sometimes. And that's 30,000. There you go. And over there, very good, very good. Over there, we got to keep a little bit less. There you go, that's good enough. And this one, 3,400. 3,500. There you go. That should be good enough. But we got to save our PP because we don't get that much PP. 1.42. Actually, that's not too bad. That's actually pretty good. But we could use more stability. Is there any sort of way we can get more stability? Maybe when you, actually when we go to war, we're going to lose stability, which is not good. But, you know, whatever. Oh. Oh, yes. Yes. Use the skilled workers. Got us money. Who cares? Get rid of those skilled workers. Even though we need to keep a steady supply of workers. Don't get me wrong. We need to keep a good amount of supplies of workers, no matter what. But ultimate salvation. What should the proper SS man know about Germany? There's so much to talk about, but I will spare you much of the knit and grit, sir. You should know how to know this. Know that the German Reich is in its last days of existence. How, you may ask, I'll tell you how. Degeneracy. Complacency. Cronyism. Fake Nazis who only join the party to advance themselves a lack of true Aryan patriots. A pitiful lack of real Aryan men who have the hearts of iron to do what is needs to be done. How could such a man be... How could a man of such conviction, Hitler himself, allow Jews, the plague of Europe, to continue to exist in our borders? Nazism is right. It is the only path for Aryans to tread. It is the only way to secure the existence of our people for the future to come. Yet, the Reich has lost its way and degenerates more and more, rotting from the inside. Only the Reich's fear SS, and us few in the SS, have the will to give the Aryans their birthright, the world. Only us few follow the tenets of Nazism in its purest form, without compromise or luxury, while the pigs in the Reich feast upon the scraps their slaves make them. Their time will come, though. The fear is only a, this is the only person who holds that rotten structure together, and once he dies, an age of darkness will fall upon Germany, and it will be up to us to carry on the torch of purity and security for a truly Aryan future, of course. Favorite nuclear spending? We can wait. Not needed yet. Okay, so seriously, we're going to need quite a few more guns. So, actually, we're going to need more political power. Do we have enough support equipment? And, uh, we have 260. We have, do have enough infantry equipment for now. I would like to keep some of them. How many factories we got? Oh, spread it down. Go to three for that one. For support equipment. That'd be good. Ah, good. We could spend more for supplies. I'm okay, though. I'm going to wait for that first. Loyalty. Good. We're looking pretty good. After that, the ends. Sieg Hoffnung. The Reichsführer SS has a vision for a new world. One where the corrupt have been wiped away and the lesser races have been purged. A world where the Aryan is free to settle as he sees fit. Building a new society within the framework of National Socialism. And it is a world forged in the fires of global thermonuclear war. More stability, more support. Yes, at least we'll get more stability, which will hopefully stop us from consuming too many supplies at once, because consuming too much when not needed is quite degenerate. Koch has been wounded. I don't think that was us this time, but maybe. Uh, 42, good. And this one, 48, that uh, should be good enough, right? Yes. Uh, that looks a bit, like a bit too much. There we go. This one's pretty good. This one, too much. This one. This one, not bad. Alright, that's not too bad, right? 20, 222, that's good enough. Right, alright, right, right, right. Cool, yeah. I just want to make sure I'm correct on this, on these ones. There you go. And over here, uh, that's still pretty good. And 3,000. You can lower it by one more if you really feel like it. And the next one. Boom. We're good. 2,000 more uh, <clears throat> skilled servants. Yes, get us that political power and stability. And we remove adjusting to the new goals, which, let's see, Project Gallahorn's not bad. Military austerities. Budget boosts. Three realms. Okay, so we're going to... Ooh, we actually lose that extra political power gain. But we do get rid of that stability and war support negativity, which will be very, 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 very important for us to get rid of. Nice. 
More construction speed. Oh, we're out of fuel. Just because I was trading my stuff. Let's not do that anymore. Just go and go home now, guys. And you guys do the same thing. The test, my friends. The Reichsfeer SS silently disembarked his helicopter filled with the nervous excitement of a child waking up on Christmas morning. He wrung his hands as he stood in the elevator, had a spit of a skip in his step as he strode down the underground hallways, and nervously fiddled with a pen as he stood in the observation room today. It was a day of momentous importance for the Oldenstadt and the world as a whole, and everyone in the room knew it. There was no room for error. The countdown began, and the room became filled with an almost electric energy. Scientists flipped switches, viewports were closed, and high-speed cameras were switched on as the countdown grew closer. Beds, beads of sweat began to form on the Reichsfeer SS's brow. Was the ambition of a decade finally about to be realized? The countdown f finally neared its end. Three, two, one. For a split second, a flash of light seeped through the edges of the viewport's shutters, briefly lighting up the room. A low, rumbling roar was heard, crescendoing every second, rattling the computers and shaking dust from the ceiling until it suddenly ceased. The viewports were slowly opened, and the Reichsfeer SS's eagerly rushed to look outside. Their frame between two mountains was an unmistakable silhouette of a mushroom cloud. Something tugged at the corner of the Reichsfeer SS's lips for what felt like the first time in years. Himmler smiled. My friends, we have done the kaboom. Burgundy has finally done it. Wunderbar! Wunderbar, my friends, wunderbar. At this point, um, maybe I spent a little bit too much fuel. Maybe we should import, like, one thing of fuel. Uh, let's grab it from, uh, let's see, Venezuela? Or Saudi Arabia? Yeah, go and fill us up, boys. Fill her up. And it's almost 1963. Happy 1963, everyone. Hope you're having a great, tremendous year. Uh, the Legion, the SS Legion Valoon, this is very questionable. I don't like what they could be potentially up to. Good. Uh, that should be good enough. 200, that's good enough. 18, just, I don't I don't even know. I'm just going to slowly take things out of here if we need to. Um, nope. There you go. Anything here? 41, 42. Just go down even lower, just so that I don't have to worry about that next time. God, these people keep making too many babies. Um, fifteen hundred police officers too. Still, so that's not good enough. There you go. Three thousand is good enough. And then, good enough. Good enough. And there you go. All right. Cut, spend. Oh, we're still at 49%. Urgh, that sucks. We could keep doing favoring nuclear spending. I mean, we could do that. that. I mean, that's part of our plan, too, anyways, but... We gain five more supplies. That might not be bad to do. Go and do that one. Go ahead. <sighs> yes. No... Resistance. Actually, I might use you guys instead. Uh, they do use a lot more guns, though. APCs are probably good for right now. Ooh, we're out of APCs. What are we using? For, what are we using this one for garrisons? It has military police. But these guys use military police, too, so... Would it be better to use the Polizei as a police, probably? Maybe not? Because we don't... Of course, right now, we don't have any, um... War going on, so which is good, but still. Alright, construction speed is okay. Nothing else here, really. Ah. Nice. Hopefully get an event to read. Or do we have to activate a plan? We might have to activate a plan. Nope, the plight of the Reich. Okay, that's good. It is 63. Anything here for engineering? Probably not. No. Uh, artillery? Yeah, let's keep improving artillery. And do some land auction, too. The plight of the Reich. The Reich has for decades stood tall and proud over Europe, maintaining a strong pillar of order and security throughout the continent. And, most importantly to the Reich, they maintained the interests of the decadent fat cats in Germany who have corrupted the administration of the Fuhrer. Even the Reich's Fuhrer SS, entrusted with the administration of the Oldenstadt, found himself chained and restricted from carrying out the Aryan will by those who would corrupt the national socialist ideal. 
Yet now those decadent degenerates who played in the shadows of Germany began to emerge into the light of an, in an attempt to strike one down, one another down. As a result, Germany stumbles and falters as Aryan sons are convinced against one another, called upon to serve for the causes of decrepit old men. However, with a rapid decay in Germany comes to silver lining, the strong pillar that is the Reich has begun to crumble and the chains of it that have attached Europe to it begin to grow loose. Plots and plans that were once not but a pipe dream might soon enter the realm of possibility. Our dreams must be realized. France, or rather the Rome state still known as France, must be brought to here once again so that the Alden Shot may prosper and work towards the Reich Führer's SS's plan. Yet, before we march to expand the confines of the Alden Shot, we must first ensure that our loyal local collaborators are as loyal as they seem to victory. Yes, to victory. Unternehmen Ludwig. Unfortunately, our plant and the Reich failed in its task to kill the Führer. However, the botch attempt has, pr has proved to us without a doubt that the Reich will not survive the death of Hitler. As health is ailing, it is only a matter of time before he dies and the Reich collapses. While we wait, we have work to do. Leon de Grail, the leader of the Walloon Legion, has been acting strange, to say the least. Likewise, the Charlemagne Legion is restless. We should put the collaborators to work. It is time for us to begin drawing upon plans for an invasion of France. Once Germany falls into chaos, no one will be able to stop us acquiring more French lands for the Ollenstadt. A new investigation into our entrance or the ally will be authorized. Ooh. Which may be right here, so it's right there, so that's good. Good. What is Puma? I what I don't like is that it says like these plans can be activated. Okay, so it says US. Okay, so actually it does say Iberia. I should actually read this and hover over it says Iberia, Russia, Draca is China, Wolf Wolf is Italian sphere, Puma, Adler. And then so on, Japan. That's kind of cool. Happy February 1st. And unfortunately, we only get 20 more police officers every month. It's hard being a national daddy, I guess. Hmm. Alright. 28, 50, good. 18, 37. Uh, that's a bit too much. Good, just do that one. And actually, for this one, we'll take a few more. You, you guys are always good. Um, 14, 1, 2, 3. Uh, you guys, just in case, 41. 42, good. And then 15. Good. Um, good enough. 15, good. 3,000. Go by one more. There you go. And 1,900. I'll uh, go to 2,000. Why not? Not bad. I mean, technically, we could do the one about Vyatka here first. Activating will consume infantry equipment, support equipment, political power, and supplies. Wow. Hey, but we do have 56% stability. That's actually really good then. We have 50 supplies. Not bad, my friends. Not bad. And how are we doing here? Uh, still a lot of, not a lot of growth. But we're building fairly okay, like. Ah, good. Dangle the carrot. How about the troublesome snake? The Valoon Division, headed by Leon de Griel, have been chafing under our rule since ever since the Fuhrer granted the SS authority and the right to administer the Aldenstadt. These nationalists will have been steadfast, even in the face of our authority, for more autonomy and rights for the people living in the north of the Stadt in what was Belgium. Their fervent nationalism, while commendable, has no place in the Aldenstadt. We must keep them in check and busy doing our bidding, lest they forget they, their place under our rule. Good. Ah, I like the buttons. Fall Wiesel. Current intelligence, 100. Monthly intelligence gains, 5. Current suspicion, 40. Oh, okay, so he's a fierce Wallonian nationalist. Has long been a thorn in his side with his fervent rejection of the concept of a Burgundian system or culture, but never before has he been so brazen. He and his legion will use Wallonian as their own state within a state, controlling every aspect of life when they lock us out, and then we have to gall... They have the gall to stick out their thumbs at an official legion business. Usually, this kind of trouble could be tolerated for the benefits uh, for the he gives, but there has been wise spirits in the shadows of a secret plot being hatched by the highest echelons of Walloon. A plot that would result in the overthrow of a great leader, unfortunately. Too much re relies on rumors and lies to be conclusive, hence why an investigation must be conducted into the degenerates. We have three options at our disposal to begin this search for the truth. Bug de Grail's military out office in Osperis to see if he slips up on the microphone. Bending a mole within the Walloon land structure could grant insight into the thinking. A 24-7 tale of de Grail and his lieutenants could go great ways to tracking down the movement and establishing a foundation of their operations. Hmm. Plant a mole. Oh, we don't want him to be too, too suspicious. Plant a mole would probably be good. Let's plant a mole first. Intel use. Oh, we only have how much intel? Current, oh, okay, so it's current intelligence. At 95%, you know, let's go down, let's go use, use even less. 
Current intelligence is 90. Let's go 55, because 90% chance is still pretty good. Operation authorized. I'll only read this once, though. All right, Sphere SS. As directed by you, our agents are now investigating a lead and will report back with the results in two weeks. Until then, we will be unable to authorize another investigation as all of our resources are being decided or dedicated to the current one. Sincerely yours, Obafia Adolf Eichmann. Now we wait. I wonder where Eichmann went. Ah, uh, everyone loves Eichmann. Don't quote me on that one. The wait. And actually, it is February 15th, so we're okay. And, oh, look, oh, look, oh my gosh, there's so much here. Uh, we already did this stuff. Ooh, I want to get more supplies, but whatever. Uh, the meeting room would take place in a cold, barely furnished basement. God forbid a non-German sat, or was sat, in a decent meeting room with something a little nicer than a metal folding chair and a bare cement floor with two hanging light bulbs. De Grell sighed. Pulling out a cigarette, he snuck a glance at the other two collaborators. His company was as bad as the furnishing. Christian de la Maziere, a, commanding of, a commander of the Charlemagne Legion, sat to de Grelle's right. His incessant twitching made him appear nervous. De Grelle knew better, though. The man was high, was as high on methamphetamines. It could be without being oblivious to the world, his bloodshot eyes confirming his suspicions. Straight across was Bert Eriksson, the fanatical Flemish leader of the Langmark Legion, all around unpleasant a-hole. As if to prove de Grelle right, Eriksson continued to stare the Wallonian leader down. If you didn't, if I didn't know any better, Bat, I'd say you're trying to woo me like one of your cast corps. De Grelle shot out suddenly, raising his head and returning the thousand yard star stare Ericsson had been giving him since he entered. Ericsson rose and I brown blinked, the slur catching him off balance. They sat back in his chair wordlessly and continued to stare. De Grelle mirrored Ericsson's movements. A win was a win. Hey, Mazier called out. Why are we down here for supposed to meet with the Reichsführer? De Grelle shrugged, spitting out and stomping his cigarette. Ericsson shifted his gaze and stared down. Mazier, God, you're so unpleasant, Ericsson. It was just a question. Mazier sighed, leaning, ba leaning back into his chair. Though De Grelle and Ericsson both projected calm, their thoughts said otherwise. If Himmler was meeting them, then why the heck were they sitting in a musty basement? For another five minutes, they idled before the door opened with a screech. A young woman in an SS garb strutted in, holding three binders. The gentleman, she began, in perfect German. De Reichsführer sends his regards. The meaning behind the words were clear. They weren't worth Himmler's time. You three have been given important tasks, as outlined here. She drop the binders in front of the table. The Reichsführer asks that you take a look at the contents after you leave the building at your earliest convenience. That is all. The woman smartly spun around and left, slamming the door behind her. Ericsson and Mazier continued to sit, surprised lined on their faces. Or surprised lined on their faces. The girl stood up, scooping up one of the folders, and smartly strolled out of the door. It could certainly be worse, all things considered. So, our intel growth rate is 5. Uh, Adolf Eichmann, SS Obergruppenführer. Hmm. He is the one who's going to de destroy the degenerates from within. He shall serve the Himmler in destroying a new threat of degeneracy within our own borders. Okay, very good. Ah, fielding the SS Opa Gruppenführer as a commander of the SS Totenkopfverband, uh, alongside several units of intel, intel units, or operatives, acting throughout the Odenstrahl, will give him every ounce of power he needs to track down the suspicious figures the Reichsführer SS has found and annihilate the very threat they present. Open investigations. Um... Small deceptive maneuvers, which will lower Degrelle's suspicions over our operation by a low amount, using new deception techniques in our investigation. Oh, we can just open that easily. That's kind of cool. Oh, if you like to read about that, please go right ahead. Small deception. Uh, current suspicion is 60. That's pretty high. Uh, oh, it's 57. That's so little. Holy crud. Wow. This is good. Like I said, this is going to be an intense campaign. Just trying to make sure we do okay and micro as much as possible. I'm going to be microing more for clicking buttons than actually probably doing warfare. Ooh, for oh yeah, get rid of the, the thousand of them. Not bad. And anything else here? Nope. Not yet. The troublesome snake. Keep our guys close. Oh, game will go up. I like that one. Out of all of our collaborators, De Grelle is by far the most troublesome and dangerous of our subordinates. As we continue to investigate the Walloon Division's activities, it would be useful for us to find ways of keeping the officers close at hand in Paris to keep them under close observation. Training exercises, planning for the invasion, and occupation of new territories, schematics for building new labor camps, whatever. Let's keep these rowdy degenerates close at hand. A successful investigation writes for SS. Our agents have reported back to HQ and brought some good news with them. The authorized operation into the current lead was a success, yielding a new piece of evidence to look over. It is now available to few from the investigation's menu. Sincerely yours, Obafiera Adolf Eichmann, as expected. A dead end. Oh, if you want to read about this, please go right ahead. The truth will be revealed in time. Hmm. Alright, so he's at 54. We have 55 intel on him. Not bad. Uh, we Let's do this real quick, too. Um, Let's see. 22, 47... There you go, good enough. Uh, let's see. Good enough. And this is three. Good enough. 
I think the capital is always going to be good, so we don't really need to check it too much. One, two, three. Good enough. You guys, one, two. Good enough. How much? We have 2,800. Not bad. Wow, that's quite a few in uh, wherever this place is. Wow, look at this. Wow. Um, there you go. So that we can actually throw a few more in there if we really wanted to. So that should be okay. That should be okay. This one should be okay now. This one's good. This one over here, that's good. This one over here is probably pretty good. And this one over here is not too bad. You can actually put more over there. That's fine. I think we should be okay for now. And we'll see about this. 54, not bad. Oh, we got rid of this too, huh? Factory output is down, huh? That is not good. The troublesome snake. We only get 1.1 1, 1 every month, huh? There goes Madagascar. How many supplies do we have? We only have 55, which is not good enough. Uh, collapse with German Madagascar, so be it. Supplies, which would be super important. Or we could use, um... I want to get rid of some of these slaves. So, uh, make more stuff. Troublesome snake. Very good. Keeping enemies close. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think I already read this one, so yeah, that's good. Nice. Expand this. To get 10 intelligence use in our investigation, greatly expand. We shall expand our intelligence capabilities to get 25 intelligence use in our investigation. To get 10 intelligence. 25, so... Uh, so 20 political power for 10 intelligence. And we lose even more political power. Ooh, that is 1.5. So it's really, for 15 days... 21.5 political power versus this is uh, that should be about three extra 38 political power for 25 that's actually better that's that's worth doing it more flushing out the snake and last but not least the result of our initial probes that sentence sent sparks through the room a couple ministers each gave each other looks of pure terror what probe what one of them something was with unruly slaves was someone's head about to roll the Reich's fear didn't bat an eye ah excellent Himmler in motion for the man to proceed. Yes, yes, it seems that your suspicions were correct. The room was dead silent, except for the Reichsfeer secretary, who was out taking notes. For a second, all that was heard in the room was a fanatic typing of a typewriter. The Walloon division has indeed been acting in a manner unbefitting other status. The division as a whole is almost all concentrated in their home region, even with impending invasion at hand. They've been requisitioning a curious amount of firearms and supplies, much more needed than what their numbers require, while not outright illegal or traitorous. It does raise suspicion. Likewise, the girl's staff has become distant from our chain of command. Insubordination over petty matters has increased dramatically. They become more and more resistant to Aryan officers by the day. Although, <clears throat> they conduct themselves acceptably in front of our subjects. All in all, their behavior and open dissent suggest more than what they've, what we've uncovered in their initial probes. The whole division may be compromised. The Reich's fear of not his head slowly. Their nationalism will be un their undoing a shame. Many of those men are hardened soldiers, he sighed. The rest of the men sitting in the room or in, were on the meets were expressions of shock. How could an entire division have a gall to attempt to tempt fate and go against the entire Stadt? Proceed with the investigation, Himmler finished. Find out how deep their treachery is rooted. De Grail is likely a traitor. If any sign of open treachery is discovered, arrest and kill him. Find out who is compromising the division. Any dissent is to be rooted out and dealt with. The Reichsfuhrer abruptly stood up and stalked to the door. He stopped at the exit and faced about. And about faced. I leave this matter into your hands. He spoke to no one in particular. The whole room would be accountable and they knew it. Do not let me down. De Grail treads a very, very fine line. And we do need to keep some political power here. But we can wait until the Civil War really starts for that, so... Keep making more factories. Come on, keep making, 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 making. Produce, 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 produce. Bide our time. Increase the balloon's loyalty. To decrease his suspicion. Enhance surveillance techniques. Just, just lower his suspicion will be unlocked. Let's dig the carrot next. The Oldenstadt employs three native SS divisions to further uh, the Reichfuhrer's ultimate goal. Although these men are not Aryans, they are useful collaborators who help to keep the locals in their place, so to speak. The Charlemagne and Langemach divisions have become restless as of late, while de Grelle's Walloon division uh, sulks in the role. It's time to get the collaborators to pull their weight and get to work. We will call the officers of these divisions back to Paris to begin an in-depth planning for the invasion of France. Very good. Alright. Uh, Pierre. Good. Over here, 28, do do do, good enough. Uh, 18, do do, good enough. This one's always good. 1400, 1, 2, 3. Literally at the, at the, bursting at the seams there. Good enough. 
Uh, 22, that's good enough. Actually, you can throw in a few more soldiers there, if you're, or more skilled laborers, we'll call them. And over here, not bad. Uh, you know what? Go up to... That's good enough. That was at 1. 1,500, 1,2,3. And over here, we have 1, 2, just in case. As well as 2,000. There you go, not bad. Sorry for the loud click. It's just my computer. Alright, so he's 46. Current intelligence. Expand intelligence... To get 10 intelligence. How do we increase, like, what we can do about him? Oh, keep random close. Look at that. Improved intelligence gathering techniques. Yes, yes. Absolutely. Lower his suspicion. It's only 46 for now. It's not like you lower by that much. I want a big one. I want to have a much bigger one for that. It's only April 4th, so. All right. Dangle the carrot. Followed up with the Loyal Dogs. We are not fools. The three native divisions under command do not serve us out of loyalty or their beliefs in our cause. They serve and fight for the Reichsfuhrer because service is the most profitable avenue for the non aryans in Burgundy. Our servants have indeed proven their use and should be rewarded with new weapons and equipment from the vast, from our vast stockpiles. Service to the Reichsfuhrer should be rewarded to encourage further cooperation as well as to increase their effectiveness. To raise the loyalty of Langemark and Charlemagne will be unlocked. Very good, very good. Over here, supplies. We do currently have how much? 55, that's okay. Small deceptions. Industrial output, that might not be bad just because I want to get rid of those workers. We have quite a few, but I think we can wait. Greatly expanded. Improved intelligence gatherings. Open investigations. Project Gallahorn is finished, unfortunately. So, actually, it's up to 26. Um, I don't mind spending some more favor nuclear spending. Oh, that's 80. Uh, I think we do it once. We'll do it once. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. And, new month, new us. We need more political power, though. Yeah, we really need to get keep some political power. Wow, it's not good. Uh, anything else here yet? Nope. Alright, so it's May. Over here. Can't really tell. 2,400 is needed. Uh, I think we'll be okay there. 18, 3,600 is the max. That's good, that's good. That is not good. There you go. 22, that's more than good enough. 1,500. Uh, let's go by 100. There we go. We still have 1,100, so that's really good. Which one did I click on? I can't even remember now. It must have been that one. Uh, down here, that's good. Oh, both these are really good. So that's 3,200. This one is going to have up to 3,200. Wait. Oh, this one's 1,500. Oh, no. There you go. Uh... I'm sorry, I'm getting these confused in my head. 1500, that's good. 1600, that's good. This one's good. Rhone, 6000. We'll take a little bit more. And 2000. Ooh, we're gonna do this one. 4200. Dingle the carrot. Keep spending, 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 spending. Got the loyal dogs. Absolutely loyal. All right, so it currently is at 43. Midnight approaching. Oh boy, Ooh, monthly intelligence gains 80. It's seven. And current intelligence is seven. Uh, actually, we need to open this one up. Can we do anything else? Oh, we can do some more. Okay, bias office. Author's a tail. ADA should be good enough, right? Now we wait. You actually have to click on him, so don't forget that. Ericsson was going to kill somebody. Midnight approaching. Mazier, hi, I'm talking of continue with what only can be described as the word vomit. Many of his sentences didn't even make any sense. Ericsson would have thought the man was mad and talking to himself if he didn't make pauses for Ericsson to contribute. If one could call answering yeah and okay or contributing to a discussion on race theory. Ericsson leaned back uh, on the leather chair and took in the seam. At least his conference room wasn't tucked away in a dark basement. Nice wood table, leather chairs. He leaned back farther into the chair. Yep, this was how a proper SS man should be treated. As Mazier continued to bobble, the door to the room swung wide open. The Reichsfeuer strode in, his presence dominating the room. Heinrich Himmler simply strode in, the two men quickly snapping to attention. Himmler ignored them and took a seat at the head of the table. The others quickly following. The Reichsfeuer had nothing on him other than the clothes on his back. No documents, binders, paperwork, or maps. Strange, Ericsson thought. Do you know why you're here? The Reichsfuhr cut in, his voice silencing the, like, sli slicing the silence like a knife. Both men shook their heads while Mazier bobbled something to the effects of no. Himmler gave Mazier a look, 
shutting him up. You are both here, so we could tell the next phase of the plan in person. Himmler paused and glanced at the two men, the invasion of France. Mazier's face lit up for a moment. It was as if his words were caught in his throat then. This is an opportunity for all nationalistic Frenchmen. I am honored to tell you, for you to tell me, uh, I mean, us, this in person, and you will not regret. As Mazier began to bootlick, <laughs> the Reichsfuhrer and Ericsson shared a look. This glare made Ericsson's blood run cold before he turned away to address a bobbling man, or blabbling man. Mazier, enough. The French collaborator stopped in mid-sentence, a mouth agape. His expression turned from joy to fear, the realization that he had said too much out of turn finally hitting him. Himmler pointed, ignored his stupid expression, continued, You will both receive your orders and details shortly from my staff, that is all. Himmler leaned back into his chair, motioning at the door, dismissing the two men. Finally, the time for action draws near. Slightly raise their, uh, uh, not authority, but loyalty. Alright, so what do we got here? I don't want to spend political power for this stuff, I really don't. Intel growth rate? Uh... Shall lower degree of suspicions? Well, where are they currently at? Like, his suspicions at... Oh, 63 is kind of high, man. 63. But I gotta keep the PP for all this stuff, too. Hmm. Going under the curtain. Obtain more resources. Ooh, I like that. Over the walls. I like this one. Going under the curtain. Although we have we loathe having to work with degenerate smugglers like Bretons, we cannot let their impurity get in the way of practicality. Brittany runs a small, large smuggling operation that sources and sells goods all across the world for a price. It would be well worth our while to have some connections with their government. We are there. They are our access to the world markets and middlemen who source anything we could ever want. An unexpected setback. It appears as if our current lease still remains shrouded in mystery. Although our agents tried to investigate, they were unable to do so because the various factors have returned and have returned to HQ in defeat. If we want to look at this lead into again, we'll have to authorize another investigation into it. We must act again. Oh, that sucks. We spent so much for that for nothing. What? No. Yeah, we got all that stuff done nice. Oh, uh, you can go ahead and grab that. Go and grab this too. That's fine. And land auction. Oh, we're going to maneuver warp here, huh? Well, we do have quite a few tanks, so it makes sense to do Schwerpunkt tactics. We do a three, that's just nice. The low dogs. Going under the curtain. Anything else here? Give weapons to Charlemagne. Slightly raise your loyalty. Um, Langemach. Ooh, we lose cap. Um, no, I think they're pretty loyal already, so I don't really feel like we need to do that at all. I want to do this, but... Mm, how many... Ooh, that's way too many we have right now. Ah, uh, that's not good. He's a 63. Current intel is not enough. We need to get rid of him, though. Hmm. I also don't want to lose any more political power. But it's almost June, and we have too many skilled laborers in reserve. We really do. I don't want to do this one. It costs 60 political power that we can't really afford. Is there any sort of event we can do up here, maybe? Oh, For this one, that's good enough. For this one, 22, 8, that's good enough. This one, 18. I think for this month, we can just spend a few more officers. That'll be good enough. 18, yeah, that's more than enough. Uh, for this one's good. Um, get up to 1,500, that's good enough. Uh, 22, that's more than enough. Uh, actually, you could probably spend more laborers here if you really wanted to. But they reproduce like rabbits, so it doesn't even matter. 1600. Go to 1700. That'll be fine. That'll be good for hopefully a while, actually. That's good enough. This one is not good enough. Go up to 1700. That's good enough. 1500. Ooh. Alright, so that's not bad. 15. That's 1580. That's good enough for now. 1700 is good, obviously. That one's good, obviously. This one is 1580. That's good. This one is 3000. 6,090, which is double that, so that's good for Roan. And this one, well, we can't put any more stuff down there. So 4,200, that's barely enough. So we're holding on for this month. We'll be okay. We will be okay. And let me know in the comments below. Should we do bide our time? Or should we enhance surveillance techniques? Let me know in the comments below. Which one should we do? Bide our time or enhance the surveillance techniques in which we will read oh, looking over the walls? The security of Olden Shot is of the utmost importance. Enemies from within and without scan for weaknesses. <clears throat> Any points where a spy can infiltrate our borders needs to be reinforced and garrison. For this purpose, we can make use of the many fortifications the French have built before the days of a great victory. Putting these to use, we can make our borders nigh impenetrable. No one comes in or out of the Oldenstadt without the Reichsführer's express permission. 
Very good. Ah, here we go. Let's get rid of these guys. Ah, we have more room. And they're still very loyal, so... Or at least loyal. Not very loyal, but loyal enough. Looking over the walls. Well, let's see if we get a little special little event. I kind of doubt we get it from going under the curtain. Oh, yeah, we do. Uh, can we get more resources, please? Ah, friendly neighbor. Amel stood nearby as a blonde man handed the, handled the rifle like an expert. Behind the man, another three men in nondescript jackets leaned against their pickup as the waves crashed against the dock. The moonlight reflected off the new firearm, the oil on the surface dancing with silver light as the man inspected the rifle. Armel stood aside as the man wielded it, fingering the revolver concealed in his jacket. The man, after another minute, finally spoke. And what model is this, he asked, raising the rifle he was still holding slightly. The NF Lag GI, newest model from Germany. The man nodded slowly. He was definitely testing the Breton smuggler. Uh-huh, I see. He replied slowly. And its features? Semi-auto and full-auto mode. Standard clip holds 30, though. I'd recommend 29. It's a tight fit with a full. 30, 29 lets you seat the mag easier. The blonde, he nodded his head knowingly, and issued the older model, too. You know your guns, Amel said, or Armel said. Nothing, though, but he relaxed. It was rare to get a compliment from an SS man. The blonde man tossed the rifle to one of his comrades, then motioned to the ten crates laying on the dock. He picked up a bag that lay by the truck and handed it to the Breton. It was heavy, 40 pounds at least. He picked inside the bag. It was full of wedding bands, necklaces, and various small pieces of gold. Uh, Amel knew only what too well that what they were. Sometimes ignorance was bliss. He would never forget that the seemingly random gold bits were in fact some dental fillings. As the crew of Germans loaded up the last crate of rifles, a spokesman walked up to the Breton. How many more of these guns can you get us? Amel stood for a moment before responding. Can you keep paying? The man nodded. Well, in that case, as many as you need. Forty more shipments like this one? Forty is certainly no problem. And let's see what we can do anything here. No, 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 no. Well, we can. We, we might want to start keeping some of our political power. So let me know in the comments below. Should we activate the Global Plan Bar before the German Civil War box? During it or after? Because I'm feeling like we should do it after it begins and probably after we invade France. But I'd like to know your thoughts in the comments below. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow when we shall hopefully get rid of DeGrell and have a little bit of a conflict all around us. Thanks for watching. Have a great Burgundy rest of your day.